Hi, welcome to MediatorPodcast.com, a podcast and video series about mediation, negotiation, and collaboration. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I provide online valuation, divorce, and mediation services based out of St. Louis, Missouri. In this week's episode, we're actually going to discuss a book written by our guest, Kimberly Best, How to Live Forever, A Guide to Writing the Final Chapter of Your Life Story. She's a registered nurse, a mediator, and conflict coach based in Franklin, Tennessee, and has authored this book that we're going to discuss today. I think people are kind of like, well, okay, well, but I don't have a terminal illness, and Mm. you know, I feel pretty healthy. I feel like Mm. everything's fine. So this might not be something that I need to do right now. You know, I'm in my 40s, and Mm. what can I learn from reading this book that maybe would help me understand that there's a little bit more involved than just like waiting till the end and, and getting everything done, right? Right. You know, one of my goals in writing this book, um, was to get us to talk about dying, um, in all the aspects of the book, that's a theme that comes up. So the book came out right before COVID, which I thought was was terribly um, ironic and uh, really fortuitous if we wanted to begin to have these conversations. I say that uh, talking about dying is the final frontier of taboo subjects that we don't have. And by not having these discussions, um, we are, are closing our best potential for finding solutions, for honoring our choices, for having empowerment around our choices around legal and medical uh, discussions. I I know this, Melissa, that is medicine has advanced, um, dying has gotten harder. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because what used to kill us uh, doesn't anymore. So it's taking longer and it's harder for people to die. Now, in terms of somebody 40 years old, you probably have aging relatives, uh, but that's not really even the point. I have stories in my book of all ages. I mean, I had a five-year-old niece die of a brainstem glioma. We're not guaranteed our next moment. And if there's one lesson I learned from all my nursing years, it is that all we have is this moment. So I don't think it's ever too soon to have the conversations. Um, Because I think when that does happen, whether it's an accident or an illness and we're caught off guard, it it won't be, our response won't be, yes, this is awful. It's truly awful, but that it shouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. You know, we spend so much time with the denial and that it shouldn't happen. And what have I done wrong? And what is the medical system doing wrong? When in reality, this is life. Mm -hmm. So if we bring to light all these conversations that are life, I think we'll be stronger going into those when they'll happen, because it will happen to all of us. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think there's a a point of being prepared, mm -hmm. but not like actively trying to wish it to happen, right? I mean, like you can do things that, because I think when people get to the end of life, or if they have loved ones, Mm -hmm. they're looking and saying, okay, well, what would they have wanted, right? And then they're trying to second guess and they're like, well, I think they said they wanted to be cremated. No, no, I think they wanted to be buried next to so-and-so, you know, and then the families all having these conversations, guessing of what somebody had wanted at that stage, right? I couldn't have said it better myself. That's exactly right. And the pain that comes with that. Um, yeah, so there is, I've, I've interviewed a lot of people, the, the ones who didn't know what to do, even around healthcare decisions. So especially around healthcare decisions, especially around even COVID while our loved ones are alive, you know, we make the assumption that living at all costs is what we want to do. When in fact, often we're torturing people by doing that. I want to give a shout out real quick, because it's a good time to do that to Atul Gawande, who wrote Being Mortal. And what he did in that book, if you haven't read the book, it's an incredible book, but he normalizes, we are born and we will die. And um, that's tough. But being born is not, you're a mom. I mean, being born is hard, like, and so is dying, but that's Mm -hmm. normal. That is life. The cost of living is dying. So if we can understand the process that our bodies go through 
um, understand that it is normal. It doesn't mean we don't grieve it when it happens. It doesn't mean it's not sad and that there's not a lot of loss, but there is a circle of life, but we can make better decisions that are around quality of life quality of life. Living as well as we want to live, we get to decide our own quality of life um, rather than forcing life at all costs.